Hi, I'm Mary Leverett, and we're going to be making apple jelly this morning from apples that my brother grew on our farm in Henderson County, North Carolina. We're going to start with some apple juice that I've already boiled out using the skins and the core of the apples. And they were red apples, so luckily we have nice red juice. Um, you measure my recipe for jelly is a cup of juice and a cup of sugar. So we're going to do start with four cups of apple juice, actually, and then I'm going to do just a little bit more and make it eight. But anywhere between four and eight cups should be just about as much as you should use at one time because if you make too big a batch, it just takes too long for it to gel. Now we'll add eight cups of sugar. And that goes right into the juice was at room temperature, or it can be cold, it really doesn't matter. And I'm gonna start it on high, and we'll get all this sugar into there. And start the boiling and you let this sugar come to a boil and dissolve in the juice and then we wait for it to gel after you've boiled your sugar and juice together for probably 15 or 20 minutes it, it just isn't an exact science you can see that the jelly is coating this fork. It's being caught between the tines of the fork and coating down and that's when you know that you have a gel. Uh, some people use a spoon and see if it sheets off the spoon. I just prefer a fork. For some reason I can tell it's gelling better. And at that point you're ready to put it into your jars. And to do that, because I'm not so handy at pouring it in. I just use a glass measuring cup, dip it in. Now remember, this is incredibly hot. And into the jars. These are the flat disc lids that I've been simmering in water to soften up the rubber and get them nice and hot. Plus it takes care of any bacteria that might be floating around in the air. And after you have put on your flat um, disc, you put on the, the ring. You do not have to tighten it like a He-Man. You just simply screw it on just so that it's straight and firm. Again, these are very, very hot. You may want to use a pot holder to, um, to lift them. I just happen to have heat resistant hands. <laughs> We're putting our jars, our sealed jars, into a boiling water bath. And that just is what it says. It's a water boiling. And you put it, uh, your jars in so that there's one inch of water covering the tops of the jars. And you're going to process it for 10 minutes. It also um, ensures, just ensures that it's nice and clean and sealed. So you can use a big canner, canner or just a large sauce pot like this is. Put the lid on and if the water was boiling, let it come back to a boil and process for 10 minutes. 10 minutes have passed and we're going to take these out. And you can see the jelly still looks very liquid, very syrupy, but don't be afraid. It will firm up as it cools. Once you have your jelly all finished, the only thing left to do is enjoy. You can use your jelly as a glaze for meats. Uh, if you have jelly that's gotten a little older and maybe a little hard, you can heat it up and use it as syrup. Or you can do what I do and just enjoy it with a lot of butter and a lot <laughs> of jelly and bread. So make some jelly today. It's worth the time and trouble. You'll enjoy it.